Uh, how would you react to the notion of a movie deal? You know, Hachette gets approached by Hollywood to right. um, to make this into a lightly fictionalized, um, as Joe Klein Anonymous, or in the uh, the case of the uh, Facebook movie. I, you know, I think with um, I guess what's important to me as a journalist is that when things are fictionalized, they're labeled as such. I think that. I mean, first of all, there's no, like, that's not sort of a question I've been dealing with, so it's a, it's a pretty theoretical question at this point. I, you know, I think that, um, like, if you see The Queen, which is a really, really great movie about Queen Elizabeth, and I, that is a fictional treatment, and in a way that writer uses fiction to go where no journalist could ever go because it takes place so inside the palace, and The Queen is such a locked away figure and I you know I really loved that movie and thought it was fabulous and I also thought that it was a very honest movie in terms of it never claimed to be you know a movie about sort of what actually happened um, so I think something like that in in theory is is fine um, you know I don't know that you could do um, you know I guess what felt a little bit funny to me about the Facebook movie was that the real facts of Zuckerberg's life departed so much from the story that Sorkin told. And as a journalist, I did have some very you know, interesting question, conversations with colleagues about that. Like that movie depicts him as a really a social loner, but it turns out that he's been with the same girlfriend you know, for years and years and years. Um, so that to me is like a little bit of a dicier uh, situation. Um, but I, I think it's related to your question also about um, how much of the truth you can really capture. Um, I went into this project knowing that it would have the limitations of any journalistic project that, um, you know, whether it's a story we write for the New York Times, uh, you know, this book, or even if I had spent 10 years, you know, working on the book and had even more access than I did, you know, there's no capturing, like, to the extent that there is an omniscient total truth. Um, you know, there, there's, there's uh, you know, it's probably impossible to capture in some way. Um, but, you know, the alternatives are not perfect either. Like, if you look at the, you know, what, uh, one of the criticisms I got in the last couple of weeks is that, like, essentially, your book is not valid because you're not Michelle Obama and Barack Obama, and only their memoirs are the valid tellings of their stories. And so I couldn't say back to those people, so I will say to you all now, well, let me tell you, memoirs are a rather political genre. If you look at the memoirs, that politicians write these days, they are not, you know, once in a while you get a Catherine Graham, right, who wasn't a politician, she was more of a journalist, who writes a truly introspective memoir where she really lays it all on the table. But for politicians, it's almost impossible because memoirs are legacy-shaping exercises, and they have very difficult decisions to make in terms of how they're going to treat people. I mean, say you're the president, right, and you've got some key advisor who basically gave his or her life for you for, you know, five or eight or, you know, or even ten years, and this advisor really screwed something up that you are really mad about. Well, are you really going to take this person to task in your memoir? Because after all, they, they worked for you loyally for, you know, eight or ten years. Or if you look at, like, Clinton world now, you know, they're endlessly doing these kind of symposia about how great, you know, the presidency was, and these people become a kind of fraternity, right, with the presidential library and the reunions and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I, you know, I think the answer to that is that the coverage of any presidency is a team sport and that, um, you know, and that this book is, is one of many that will be written about the Obama presidency and, uh, you know, and I look forward to the president and first lady's memoirs and it really takes the entire body of work to really get at the complexity of it all. And 